He may paint himself as a clown, but his deeds are no laughing matter. Hi, I'm Ian from Watch Mojo, and today I'm counting down my picks for the top six worst things the Joker's ever done. For this list, I'm looking at the worst things ever done by them by Batman's most Batman's most craziest arch nemesis. For this list, we're looking at moments from the Joker from not just the page to the big screen. So if you haven't seen any of these moments yet, there are spoilers ahead, and some pretty mature content. <laughs> number 10. The number 6, The Tunnel of Love. In Zack Snyder's take on a much older and much grittier Batman, the resurfacing with the Batman gives the Joker new life, as he becomes, as he now is more devoted and more crazier than ever. Then him and the Dark Knight go face to face again in an amusement park, where the Joker and go getting a batarang batarang to the eye. The Joker is still shooting, leaving a young leaving a trail in a tunnel of love and young lovers' bodies for Batman to follow. Number four, an agent of chaos. Ta da! It's... it's gone. Christopher Nolan's take on the Batman just didn't give us a... Give a gave us a great performance. Heath Ledger gave us a great performance as a clown prince of crime. Though the joke... though this proves he didn't... The Joker kidnapped Gotham star lawyer Harvey Dent, along with Ben Bruce Wayne's love interest. It ended up with the death of Bruce Wayne's love interest and the birth of Two-Face. Number three. Number three. Mad Love. We have one person to thank for Harley Quinn's existence, the Joker. Even though he doesn't seem to enjoy her existence, even though he only seems to only care for her for when he needs to beat her and beat her to beat her out a window. Harley Quinn tries to prove herself to the jo to the Joker when she actually kidnaps Batman over a shark tank. But then the Joker finds out about this and doesn't go so badly, because he wanted he wants the comedy relief to of killing Batman. Because if he doesn't do it, it's not funny. Though this is a good portrayal of Mark Hamill's performance, Mad Love gave us everything we ever needed. But we'll be looking at, but I'll be doing a Harley Quinn list later on. Number two, the killing joke. Number two, the death of Sarah Essence. Jim Gordon has lost more to the Joker than anyone else. From his first, from his daughter later on to his first, to his second love, Sarah Essence. The, she she has a Joker at gunpoint until she finds out that she that he has hostages involved. Now the way he could have, but though this proves this to be another joke, the way he goes through with it is chilling to the bone. Number one, the killing joke. No, no event that has crippled the Batman mythos than the death of Barbara Gordon. In de in Zaxon in the in the world win in the award winning novel in the award winning novel Batman the Killing Joke. And, and Batman the Killing Joke. This move, this film was and done into a movie. Which, by the way, I've seen and it is great. You should really watch it. It's a very good animated movie and it's a thrill ride. Now, the reason why I put this list off to number one is because this is one of the Joker's best ways to make Jim Gordon go insane. The way he could have just went out of the way to kill him himself. 
but it didn't go as planned. The other Joker is the other Joker and Batman do make up in the end by the Joker telling Batman a joke about two guys stuck in a loony bin. The way the Joker went through this with this joke is chilling to the bone. Do you agree with our picks? Which picks and which things do you think were left out? And be subscribed for more content every day.